how you all do, doing i hope you guys are are having a good good time i'm here today with a very special vi video and of course i am being joined by uh the cat cypher um so i just want to quickly get out this quick message uh, merry christmas and a happy new year because uh of course uh, this is a bit of a makeup for the fact that there will be no action sunday but i just saved that planned action sunday it was a requ requested one for for new for new year's so that will be on, and that is on the table but anyway I, as a makeup for it, i want to talk about the three-part doctor who special that was put put out on disney plus which of course obviously i think the uh, you know, doctor christmas special has also been dropped i'm not percent sure but if i have time time before the quality festivities i might i might shoo that in but if not if not if not may may i'll save it for another time or may i'll just do a do it do like a little addendum kind of thing but anyway um, let's talk and talk about the uh, uh, the Doctor specials. When I heard that David Tennant will be was returned to the role of the Doctor, I was ecstatic. And of course, how appropriate and appropriate that this spe these specials coincide with, of course, the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. 60 years of Doctor Who. That's it's it's almost as old as my dad, which is insane. And of course, uh, through countless episodes, 15 actors or well. 14 if you count and count uh David Tennant. well well you get my point uh well and like and so many different creative directions well well it's i can't believe it's still going strong of course uh, of course uh, everyone's kind of kind of ha still having a mixed bag about the joey wicker era but that's a story for another day but it's been a while since i've done anything doctor who themed i want to talk about the three parts and i'll say naturally i felt like all three of these parts these parts were <laughs> we're definitely the best of both worlds, bringing David Tennant to naturally that naturally slipped back into the role that we all know and love. Of course, uh, I I was kind of going into this. I'm like, okay, um, was there something I missed? Obviously, um, I when I was obviously what happened was Joey Wicker she regenerated into a 14th Doctor or technically de degenerated. She went to the old form, which of course brought back brought about David Tennant. So so which of course uh, leads into the storylines, which definitely is befitting for. The tenth Doctor that we all know and love. Um, of course, the part one is called the Star Beast. It's an interesting return to form. It's like, okay, what what's the Doctor been up to? Oh, now we're going back to Earth. Here's Donna Noble. What she's been going on? We all know what happened. Of course, uh, I hate the. Of course, if you guys have known me before, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Donna Noble is my least favorite uh, Doctor Who companion. I hate to say it, not my favorite. I I personally preferred Rose Tyler and Sarah Jane over. Any other companion in the history of the show. That, but that's just me. But, but naturally, Catherine Tate just naturally slipped back into the role that she definitely missed oh, so long ago. Um, but yeah, yeah, like these two, like knew what the hell they were doing. They were given the good material and a good story, and they just flat out ran with it. And the first first parter definitely felt like okay. Here's a here's a new like creature or alien that uh that the fans should get and get hold of and it's like oh it's something called the meep and i was as soon as i saw it, i was like oh it looks like the mogwai and grogu had a love child but then of course the whole big shock twist is like oh wait what this is this is actually the creature that's been that dropped from the sky of course i, I kind of it kind of Jerked and jerked on my heartstrings a little, just to feel like, oh, come like, oh, really? I I I want to love, fall in love with this guy. Now I want to hate this thing. Come on, no, I just did. I didn't. I didn't particularly like that. But hey, at least they brought in everything to make it feel like an Ostagus, like uh, uh, Doctor Who special. G getting the people from Unit and Torchwood involved, or I think it was just you know, no Torchwood. But then again, I think well, this is just one nitpick. I'm going to want to address right now. No Jack Harkness. Come on. I miss that guy. I, I love, miss John Barrowman. Barrowman. I love that guy. Come on. God give love to that. So that's that, that's one thing that that was dismissed from all three from these parts, okay? Part two, um, which of course was, you know, the wild bull yonder. Like to me this felt like I don't know why, but it the whole feeling and the nauseating isolated loneliness kind of remind me of the silence in the library episode in a good way way which of course if anybody remembers that episode the vista narada you know the, the guy the things that eat in the shadows ugh, that that would that made my skin crawl and sure enough it had that in spades or um i would say well I would, not just spades i felt like like where it about because you definitely feel something was going on on the ship okay and then of course all that just segues into a great three-part part finale which 
definitely talk about fan service. They brought back a villain that that originated all the way back in the original series, which start with and this character, the toy maker, was played by Michael Go. But on this one, you had, of course, Neil Patrick Harris, which I'm gonna say, holy shit, like Neil Patrick Harris, like was bred for Doctor Who. I know, know he was a big, heart, big diehard Doctor Who fan, and of course, I'm pretty sure BBC was like, you know what? Let's go about your fantasies here. Here, let's give you the role of the toy maker. I felt like he did a good job with it, even though I felt like his British accent was just phoned phoned in. I'm like, again, I don't think he, you really needed the accent. I think he could have just done without it. But then again, that was the whole crux of like the whole toy maker eager character i love his whole story arc of how they were able to give us give us the fans or some lost fans like who is this who is this villain at least they showed some really old vintage footage with you know the first doctor and of course the original actor who played on the late michael goat r.i.p uh, kind of thing i i, I kind of marked out a little bit i was like okay that's neat um, and then, of course, the ultimate, ultimate prequel one-two punch of oh, that is awesome. Now, now this definitely sets up for the fifteenth Doctor, played by uh, um, Nick Noon Nagawa, whatever he pronounces the guy's name is. Um, you know, it's a, you know, like man, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, at the same time, hopefully, I'll watch the bad taste of the worker era of our mouths. But of course, again, again, I need, I, I know it's a bit of a polarizing figure. Everyone said that it wasn't as good. I felt like. Doored all the promise, but just failed to deliver or horrible execution. I don't know. Again, again, like that's just my opinion. But of course, I'm pretty sure every, anybody else would probably agree. Um, any Hoovians out there, please, like, please air your air your grievances. What you liked about the work area, or what, what you hate it, hate about it. But anyway, um, I felt like bottom line. These three specials definitely were fit for the Doctor David Ten was great and. And all across all the board, it was it was like it, it just brought a smile to my face. And by the end, you're just energized, and you're just ready to see. Oh, oh, maybe the story isn't done with this one, but we are ready to see the story with the new one. All right. So yeah, like I say, any Hoovian out there, there if you have not seen it, all three parts are out there. There, it's definitely well worth the wait. It was definitely well worth the wait for this big 60th anniversary. Me, that that's just me saying a lot. All right. Now, if I had to give each of these episodes a score, well, let's see. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm being, I'm gonna be a little generous. I'm gonna say part one. I'm gonna say was, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I wanted to give it an eight. My only problems was like, um, uh, I felt like they were kind of shooting a little bit too much fan source, or I was trying to figure out. Okay, I think we were all a little confused at at first. I kind of didn't like the whole t- twist of. Oh, oh, why we? Oh, why we got hand on this new creature that just felt, came from the st- stars? When when you're like you're you're start, starting to fall in love with this character uh, at first. Part two, I felt like was it, it, I would give us a solid eight, and the same thing goes goes for the third part. Part tip to hat to Neil Patrick Harris. Everything's there, great and great all around. Again, return to form. Thank, and I'm gonna say and say thank you, David Tennant. You're my favorite. You're my favorite actor, uh, doctor actor. Uh, go all around. And so yeah, so so I want to hear your thoughts, Hoovian fans. Okay, that does for us for today. Thumbs video, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for some more awesome, and exciting content.